I'm Nick Moore and this is the brand new VP440X. It's a compact switcher scaler which supports resolutions up to 4K60-444 on its HDMI output and 4K60-420 on its HD base t output. The VP440X is ideal for meeting rooms and training rooms, classrooms, where you want to have the highest possible resolution on the display and not to have the display hunting around when you make switches between the inputs. Because the VP440X, like other switcher scalers in the Kramer range, provides a constant sync output to the display. As well as video, the VP440X also handles audio. There's a microphone input on the front panel and on the back there are analog audio inputs and an analog audio output. And this is all alongside the ability of the HDMI inputs and outputs to handle digital embedded audio. The VP440X also has a built-in CEC control so that it can tell a compatible attached screen to turn off when the VP440X is no longer outputting an image. The VP440X also features audio DSP. This enables equalization, mixing, delay and audio talkover. VP440X supports HDCP 2.2 and HDCP 1.4 whilst it also supports HDR10. On the front panel we can see a switch that controls phantom power to the microphone input, the microphone input itself, four HDMI input selection switches and an analog computer graphics VGA type uh, PC input. We have the menu button and the navigation buttons for the on-screen display, a reset to XGA or 1080p button, and the panel lock that prevents any of the buttons being depressed accidentally. Now let's have a look at the back of the unit. The back of the unit features four HDMI inputs and an HD15 socket for a computer graphics input, an HD base T output in parallel to the HDMI output, and the 5 volt power socket. At the top, we have a USB port for firmware upgrades, terminal blocks for data which is RS-232 passed through to the HD base T output and for RS-232 control of the VP440X itself. There are contact closures which are momentary for source selection of the HDMI input and VGA input. There are four analog audio inputs associated with HDMI and one for computer graphics and an unbalanced stereo audio output. The Ethernet port is for access to the built-in web pages and control of the VP440X. Now that we've looked at the front and the back of the VP440X, we're going to look at its switching. But the first thing I want to say is how I've set the VP440X up. So I've gone into the menu and I've changed the output resolution to match the native 4K resolution of the display. And then I've gone into the EDID management to change the EDID of the input again to match the output resolution which matches the display. And this means that there is as little processing for work for the scaler to do and you get the best possible image with the fewest possible artifacts. For this demonstration we're switching between my laptop and the Kramer 860 test pattern generator. So to show you the switching speed, I'm going to select the input at 1080p from the 860, and next I'm going to select the input at 4K from my laptop. In this scenario, the switch speed's about two seconds, but it could vary depending on the setup that you're using. So the VP440X also has auto switching modes and I'm going to demonstrate the last connected mode. Now that means when I disconnect my laptop, the last previously connected device was the 860, so the VP440X will switch to that. So I pull the cable out and it switches back to the 860. So now uh, I'm going to plug my laptop in and the VP440X will switch to my laptop because that is the last connected device. 
So there we have auto switching on the VP440X. For more information on the VP440X, other members of the Kramer VP440 family and the rest of our switcher scalers, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.